Good morning. Um, Dr. Gilles Erwa Uyoka from Burundi, um, non physician anesthetist and uh, critical care specialist. Uh, I'm the chair of ATSARPS, the Association of Anesthesia in Burundi. And I'm going to share with you today a life box work in Burundi since we have started to work together. Burundi is a landlocked country located in East Africa, bordered by Rwanda, Tanzania, Democratic Republic of Congo. Burundi has a population of approximately 11 million and the second highest population density in sub Southern Africa, um, with 87% living outside urban centers. We have life expectancy of 50 years for men and 62 years for women. We, we speak Kirundi as the mother tongue. French, English, and Swahili are widely spoken. Anesthesia-wise, there are currently five physician anesthesia providers working in Bujumbura, the former capital city. And there are approximately 400 certified non-physician anesthesia providers and 50% from these are working in the public sector. We have an estimated 150 anesthesia providers with an informal education, either being physicians or non-physicians. The Burundi Anesthesia Association named ATSAPS um, Agora de Technicien Superior Anesthésiste Réanimateur pour la Promotion de la Santé is a non-profit organization registered under the Burundi law and was founded in 2016. It is a corresponding member of the WFSA, World Federation of Societies of Anesthesiologists. It's a full member of the IFNA, International Federation of Nurse Anesthetists, and full member of the WFCCN, the World Federation of Critical Care Nurses. Locally, it's, it's, a, it's a close partner of the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Higher Education. I'm going to discuss with you LifeBox and ATSAP partnership. Our partnership includes the distribution and monitoring of pulse oximeters in Burundi, as well as, as the delivery of pulse oximeter training and implementation of the WHO safety checklist to operating room staff and in supervised facilities. To give a little bit of context, uh, I was walking into a rural area where we had no monitoring at all. And I was in introduced to Lifebox through a frame. So I made um, an order of two pulse oximeters. And, and since then there was I, um, an interest into life boss pulse oximeter. So while being on the run to create uh, the Society of Anesthesia in Burundi, we went on to making uh, a close contact with life Box Foundation. So after we had signed our memorandum of understanding, uh, we began with an aid assessment of all Burundi public hospitals which was conduct conducted into the be beginning of 2017. And later the same year, we had 17 live books, books, oximeter, and were, they were donated. And our local team was trained to be trainers for continuing the live books, books, oximeter training. Uh, this is the first training we, ha we had in Burundi in 2017. In 2008, 18, we had 50 life course oximeters which were donated to Burundi public hospitals. And in 2019, a subsequent lot of 54 pulse oximeters were donated into the same order for, for public hospitals. This is another picture highlighting the work of the 2019. And earlier in 2020, during the Global Surgery Anesthesia Cancer Symposium 2020, held at Hope Hospital University, 
The checklist effect film was projected after signing the MOU with Lightbox for, for its projection. And we had a WHO surgery safety checklist training held then. And in mid 2020, with the surge of the COVID-19 pandemic, we had a 200 volts oximeter which were donated into this context. And late into 2020 and early 2021, we got involved into the Smart Train Lifebox Pulse Oximetry Working Group for Lifebox revision of pulse oximeters edu education materials into the Smart Train context to include their materials. The work of Lifebox in Burundi has been highlighted into scientific journals. We had first the World Anesthesia News uh, publication uh, 2020, where the anesthesia courses in Burundi towards a hub of training and experience sharing. Uh, the chronology of the work of Flash Life Books was highlighted uh, since the beginning, 2016, when we entered into contact till now. And there was another article published into the South African Journal of Anesthesia and Analgesia, where we were looking for anesthesia facility evaluation, WhatsApp survey of hospitals in Burundi. And we found that 89% of public hospitals were, were using live box pulse oximeters. And this is a, a huge um, ad for the work of life books and ATSAP because in the beginning there was quasi non existent, there was no first oximeter from life books at, at that time, to my knowledge, because we did uh, an assessment and we found that almost all the hospitals were lacking these equipments. But at the lifespan of three to four years, 89% of the hospitals we're using life box pulse oximeters. Uh, this is a short summary of the work we have been doing between life box and ASARPS for the Burundi context and surgical uh, safety in Burundi. So thank you. This was my presentation.